Hello everyone. Uh, today we are going to have a new VPN setup which is uh, a 40 gate to a 40 gate. Currently I am having two 40 gate 40F here. Okay. Uh, we are going to set up a side to side VPN between these two 40 gates. Okay. Let's jump into it. So today on the one side we are going to use a dynamic IP which is uh, a dynamic DNS provided by the 40 gate device itself. Before that, let me tell you uh, the basic LAN and WAN configuration is done. So now we just jump into the uh, dynamic DNS setup. So dynamic DNS, uh, most of you guys are aware of that. Uh, I mean, in my previous video also, I shown in uh, shown about this. You can check a video which is on the I button, uh, which is 40 gate to Sony Qual side to side VPN. Okay, here is the dynamic dns setup we have to use the default dns server like 40 guard servers okay you can specify also then at that time you cannot use the uh, free dynamic dns service from 40 Day. so to use that dynamic dns service you have to use the default dns servers then you just enable 40 guard dns okay choose the wan interface the slider should be in use public ip address okay then server you 40 ddns okay uh, you can choose others also i am i am choosing 40 ddns and I give a unique name okay and if the address is available it will show available and it will reflect here and it will show the wan ip as well the same thing if we log into the other 40 gate okay here also the lan and wan configuration is done okay uh, here this 192.168.30.1 is a lan okay and the previous one 45.1 okay the two different network okay 45.1 and 30.1 okay in the 30.1 also the same thing go to the dns settings use the 40 guard dns servers same uh, enable 40 guard uh, ddns choose the wan interface and uh, use public ip address and the server and the unique name okay here also the name is available and the public ip is showing here okay so now well, let's move into the uh, VPN setup straight away. It's very simple, straightforward setup between two 40 gates. Okay, from uh, 30.1. Okay, and we go to the IPsec tunnel, then uh, uh, create a new tunnel, IPsec, give a name, test. Okay, and no changes here, it's a side to side no NAT between sites because there is no NAT device you can see this top topology here it will show the topology if you choose a NAT device here see behind a NAT all this stuff oh, I am directly my 40 gate is uh, on both end directly connected to the van so I have to choose the no NAT between sites choose 40 gate and click next we are going to use a dynamic DNS address so we have to bring the dynamic DNS address from the other side okay which we configured here okay we just bring the dynamic dns address here is the dynamic dns address immediately the uh, public ip is uh, i mean remote public ip is resolved you can see here then choose the outgoing interface my wan interface is this hsi is my wan interface and a pre-shared key which is uh, i'm choosing a custom pre-shared key which is okay some custom key you can use then go next choose a local interface which is LAN remote subnet 45.1 is a gateway so you choose 92.168.45.0 slash 24 is a subnet then internet access none so then go ahead and on the next step all these policies and configuration will be created automatically by FortiGate itself a static route will be created black hole route will be created vpn policies will be created okay so these are the address groups automatically created and will be used okay this is the vpn name and just click create okay it's done so the vpn setup has been done on this particular device let's jump into the another device the remote device okay 
then we'll do the same setup there go to the remote device and vpn ipsec tunnels again same create ipsec tunnel no changes here we are using the same topology this again here we give a name we choose a dynamic dns here then we have to bring the remote uh, dynamic dns address here okay here is the dynamic dns address okay outgoing interface is by our van interface a pre-shared key which we used exactly as on the previous device okay we are using the same key we, we must use the same key right then click next choose the local interface which is lan and choose the remote subnet which is uh, which is 30 is a remote subnet then click next again in this side also all the policies will be created policies routes everything will be created address objects everything will be created and the setup is done vpn is done okay now you go to the dashboard in the ipsec monitor you just need to right click bring the vpn up done we have done the vpn okay the connection has been made now we'll do the ping test okay now we are going to do a ping test from 192.168 on 30 series okay to the remote device which is on the 45 network which is 192.168 45 okay Here you can see the ping and replay. We have a successfully established a connection between these two 40 gate devices. It's very simple, easy to configure, straightforward a connection between two 40 gates. Let's check the VPN on both the 40 gates. Okay, so the VPN is up and running. Thank you very much for watching this video.